I thought about doing misanthrope 2 for quite some time uh, so I guess we're here now I heard that misanthrope 2 was worse than the first one uh, in terms of content in fact I know that there is a lot in this mixtape that I'm going to refuse to cover clip by clip today which is a reason that today's video is maybe only 15 minutes or so long instead of the intended half an hour or so like the first misanthrope it's a lot shorter but we'll get to that a little bit later this is an absolutely disgusting mixtape and I don't doubt that whoever was responsible for the creation of this has a certain degree of degeneracy. So with that being said, let's have a look at what this horrific mixtape includes. So you are of course greeted by a big old penis on your screen right from the off. So this guy has this little white tub sitting in front of him. Now out of this tub he pulls out a small fish. He makes it, I don't know, kiss his penis a little bit and then launches it up his bum hole. He also puts the fish up to the camera up close where the fish is just sort of like, help me. You then have this guy who puts his penis into a dead deer's mouth, effectively making this dead deer give him a blowjob. And he doesn't just stop there with the head of this deer. He actually fully goes to town on the deer's corpse. You then got an eagle eye view of a man's penis. There's already this large pool of blood uh, between his legs below on the bathroom floor. Um, and this is made known to us uh, by the fact that he's actually inserting a pair of scissors into his pee pee hole. And he doesn't just go for one side of this pair of scissors. He puts the whole two blades into his pee pee hole. You also have a close up of a woman's down below in which a fish is basically being put in and out of her vagina. You also have this guy who's um, <coughs> getting off with a whole roast chicken. He also makes the pecker of this roasted chicken um, effectively bite his bell end. And then you get the first video from the third world. And these videos pop up from time to time. Uh, well, for most of the mixtape. I'm not going to go into full detail on any of these videos because quite frankly they're absolutely disgusting and I don't know where the fuck the creator of this mixtape uh, got these particular clips from nor do I want to know um, but these certain clips uh, basically it's a level of depravity um, that you can't even describe it's basically just a ton of clips of uh, men and women being sexually violated and these videos take place mainly in uh, third world countries um, mostly by I assume gangs that's all I need to say about these particular uh, videos uh, and we won't be spending any more time on these uh, throughout the rest of the video all you really need to know about them is that they genuinely made me feel sick you also have a severely burnt woman, uh, dead obviously, and she looks like she's lying in some kind of, I want to say, a tar pit. There's also this extremely laggy and extremely loud video of somebody hanging, uh, in which they're all doing that aloo, you know, that thing. And this guy's almost uh, beheaded as well. There's also a naked dead woman uh, floating in a lake in which a group of people are in a boat 
Uh, and these people basically uh, fish her out of the lake. There's also one man in a bathroom in which he's basically been whipped with something uh, and his head is shoved down a toilet. You also have a dead woman behind a house in which somebody who I can only presume is a very good friend or a relative uh, sees her and just starts having this huge uh, meltdown because, you know, obviously uh, they were close, as well as another video of a dead woman uh, in a forest. And it's apparent in a lot of these videos of dead women uh, that these women were also uh, sexually violated uh, before their deaths. There's also a man who's being forced uh, to give fellatio, and a couple of photographs of a couple of people uh, in which it also shows their IDs and after each of these uh, pictures and ID showings it cuts to a short clip of that same person uh, dead and somebody recording their body. You also have a video of a group of people who basically dig up a woman's body and then place it on a stretcher. There's also this guy who puts his penis in a jar full of cockroaches as well as another man with a large snail just sort of sitting on the top of his penis you also have an operation uh, being performed on a penis and also this dead asian woman who's lying on the ground uh, with a little doll in her arms surrounded by chili peppers and I won't say it is, but it does look like some kind of art project or faked video. It could be from something. It just doesn't look, it doesn't look real, is what I'm trying to say. You've also got this woman inserting needles into her breasts and then removing them, uh, resulting in the blood dripping down her. There's also a lady masturbating with a vibrator. Uh, in which there's some text below the video that claims that the there's basically blood all over her, uh, spraying on her, uh, and the text below says that the blood was taken from this same woman's left arm and spread over her during her session. We also have, for the very final clip, I know, kind of short, um, a woman who has poo all over her bum when she removes her pants. She also pulls out a tampon uh, and then squeezes all the blood onto herself. She then, you know, starts pleasuring herself. Uh, the dildo gets involved in which she also takes a massive dump and then rubs it on herself. And this goes on for the final clip for about 10 minutes. It's just this for 10 minutes and that's it really it's an awful awful mixtape you know get me away from this godforsaken fucking degenerate made thing jesus christ i have nothing else to say about this